Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again with the Odroid XU4 and today I am very excited to announce that the guys over at the Odroid Retro Arena have released a standalone build of RetroPie for the Odroid XU4. Now RetroPie has supported the Odroid XU4 for a little while but you had to install it on top of another operating system. With this build, all you do is flash it to an SD card, boot it up, and you're running RetroPie. If you're not familiar with the Odroid XU4, this is a very powerful single board computer. It runs an 8-core Exynos CPU, 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's actually a 6-core GPU, so it does have more power than the Raspberry Pi. So before we get into some gameplay and I show you how this performs, I just want to get this out of the way first. Right off the bat, this first release, a track mode is not supported. Maybe later on down the road, but for now, they just wanted to get RetroPie up and running, and it works beautifully. So this build works just like any other RetroPie build for any Raspberry Pi. All you're going to do is flash it to an SD card, put it in the Odroid, and boot it up. You can use Win32 Disk Imager or Etcher. There's also some added features here specifically for the Odroid XU4. Now there's two versions of the Odroid XU4. There's one with a fan and one without a fan. I'm using the one with a fan. I'm going to go into the RetroPie menu here. And we have fan control. So I'm going to go into fan control. You can set it to default, medium, or aggressive. I just leave it on default. Seems to work fine for me. But this is a cool little feature added specifically for the XU4. Another cool thing we got here is BGM. So this is background music here. It's actually playing right now, but you can turn it off if you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and turn the background music up so you can hear it. it cycles through a lot of these chip tune tracks, and I think it's pretty awesome. So in the description, I'm going to leave a link to the Odroid Retro Arena Facebook group. From there, you can join their Discord, find the change log, and ask any questions you need over on Discord. I'm also going to leave a link to Amazon down below in the description. If you want to pick up one of these Odroid XU4s, I definitely recommend it. If you're into the pie, you're going to love the Odroid. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. So we got Cody here. I installed a few Dreamcast games, some N64, some PSP. Now these are the three main systems I want to focus on right now because they don't run well on the Pi 3. First up, let's go with N64. So a game a lot of people complain about not running well, GoldenEye 007. Let's give it a try here on the XU4. Get a little splash screen here. You can press A to configure your custom launching options just like you would with the Raspberry Pi. All right, so I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit in the game itself. And we're gonna see how this performs. So I can already tell you right now it's running way better than it would on the Raspberry Pi 3. And I am using a Bluetooth PS4 controller. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are not built into the board, but I'm using a CSR 4.0 Bluetooth dongle and it works fine. I actually got it from a Meridroid. I'll leave a link in the description. I think they have it on Amazon also. And it would connect up just like it would with the Raspberry Pi 3. Did he die? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. 
And as you can see, this is running really, really good. So in this video, I'm just going to be testing one game from each of these categories here, PSP, N64, and Dreamcast. This weekend, I want to do a test on each of them separately. I'll test five games in each of these systems, but I need your help. Let me know what games you want tested in the comments below, and I'll make a list up for each of these. We'll test five PSP games, five Dreamcast games, and five N64 games in separate videos. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll get those videos made this weekend. This video is just kind of an announcement video showing you that it is working. Next up, we're going to test a game in Dreamcast real quick. And I got to go with my favorite game, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. As you can see, it's running really good, but you might notice some lines through the characters. This has nothing to do with the RetroPie build on the Odroid. It's the Mali GPU drivers in the Recast emulator. This happens on all Mali devices that I've ever tested. Gameplay is at full speed. It might be dipping down to about 50 here and there, but other than that, I mean, this runs way better than the Raspberry Pi 3 does. Let's see if we can pull off something here. And we'll move over to PSP. I'm going to test Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. So this is using the PPSSPP emulator. I'm just going to press my home key or my hot key, whatever I set up as that, and load something that I had already saved. FPS is listed in the top right hand corner. This game should run at 30 FPS. And as you can see, it's running really good. I've never been able to get the Pi to run at 30 FPS in this section of the game. So the Odroid is definitely handling it really well. I've also tested a few other games. Midnight Club Dub Edition runs at about 28 FPS. It should run at 30. That could be fixed in the future. Some games work better with an older version of PPSSPP, so that might be something to think about with this build. I also tested God of War Chains of Olympus. It just doesn't have the power to run. That's one of the hardest games to run. But there are hundreds of PSP games that'll work with the Odroid XU4 and run very smooth like this one. I'm gonna exit the PPSSPP emulator and we'll get into a little bit of customization with the operating system itself. There's a build available called Botocera and Recall Box for the Odroid XU4, but they do not support video snaps like the RetroPie build here. So you have the ability to add video snaps. You can also change the theme. So if you just want to download a new theme from the ES Themes menu, you can go right in here, ES Themes, and download whatever theme you want. I already downloaded a few of them, so I'm going to go to UI Settings. If you want Tronky Fran, you can have Tronky Fran. Now it doesn't support video snaps, but I still love this. If you want a newer theme that does support video snaps, you can also get one of those. Like Card Crazy by Dwayne Hurst, one of my favorite themes right now. Get the box art, then it flashes over to the video snap. What else do I have? I got some here in Neo Geo. And I did test a bunch of Neo Geo games. They run perfectly. So yeah, guys, this is available right now. I'm going to leave the Facebook link down below. You need to go over there to download it. You can join up with their Discord. If you have any trouble with this, ask them. This is their build. 
They ported RetroPie over to the XU4 and it's working really, really good. If you guys are interested in buying an Odroid XU4, I'm going to leave links to Amazon down below. I'll also leave some links to some other stuff that I use with the Odroid. I want to give a big shout out to the guys over at RetroPie for making RetroPie happen in the first place. And I also want to give a big shout out to the guys over at the Odroid Retro Arena for making this build because this is awesome. To have a standalone RetroPie build for the XU4 is something I've dreamed about for a long time and it finally happened. Really appreciate you guys watching. All the links are in the description below. If you have an Odroid XU4, you definitely need to test this out. And like always, thanks for watching.